Hey guys, it's Arnold here. Today, we're going to talk about a question I get asked all the time. Why I switched from engineering to consulting. They asked me, hey Arnold, why did you go through all this work to get a computer engineering degree just to come out the very end and do consulting? You're giving up the cushy perks, the amazing salaries, the beautiful offices, just to work crazy hours, get berated by consulting partners, and wake up every Monday morning at 5 a.m. for those early morning flights. Well, today, I'm gonna tell you why. So just a bit of background, I switched from computer engineering to consulting. I did my undergrad in computer engineering at the University of British Columbia, did multiple internships within software engineering at IBM, a web development startup, and a telecom. I'm gonna walk through the reasons I switched, how I switched, what I discovered after switching, and the pros and cons of switching from software engineering to consulting. So firstly, let's walk through the reasons why I switched from software engineering to consulting. First reason is that I wanted to solve problems at a high level. Now, working with if statements and while loops and my new pieces of code is really cool and all, but I wanted to solve bigger problems as in, hey, should I enter this market? Or hey, what should I consider when I'm building a new team? I wanted to solve the problems at a level where it mattered most. I'm not saying that software engineering doesn't have big consequences, but I'm saying the effects of your decisions are much more visible and apparent in consulting. The second reason why I wanted to switch was I wanted to gain some soft skills. Now, you know the stereotype that computer engineering students, the software engineering students, they lack, you know, social skills. I wanted to break against that stereotype and not to say that I didn't have social skills, but I think I definitely gained more of it as I went along in managing consulting. In the end, I realized early on that communication, relationships is really what drives change in this world. You know, technical solutions is a great backbone for making change in, in the world, but you really want to sell that. You really want to do business with it. You really want to commercialize it in order to make it successful. And I thought soft skills would get me to that place. I thought I had a good background in technology, but I wanted to boost that further by using the EQ that I'll gain from consulting. The third reason is that I wanted more people interaction. That's not to say that software engineering didn't have people interaction, but most of the time you're working on your own in front of a laptop or a computer coding. I wanted to solve problems as a team, work together, work with clients, give presentations, and do all of that cool stuff that you imagine when you're doing consulting. Now that is not to say that consulting does not have solo work. There is definitely moments when you're analyzing data or you're just building decks where you just have to work alone on your laptop. But I discovered that more of the work is done as a team, working with a client or working with your internal team in order to get things done. Now the final reason why I wanted to switch was for the exit opportunities. I thought consulting would catapult my career a lot further than if I had stayed in tech. For example, if I wanted to eventually make my way to a product management position, I think consulting would lead me there faster and prepare me better for that job than software engineering, for example. I would be able to gain the people skills, the product visioning skills, and the big picture thinking required in order to successfully be a product manager. Now, the next topic is how I actually switched. Once the idea was seeded in my brain, I spent all my efforts to see how I can best go from software engineering in a consulting. So the first thing that I did was that I hit up people in the consulting industry that also went to my school. I had coffee chats with them, asked them what their job was like, and if that was really something I wanted to pursue. A video on how to have those coffee chats is coming up soon, so please subscribe if you wanna know more. It was at that point when I decided to really fully invest in applying for these consulting firms. So I looked at what their interviews were like and I bought two books to help me prepare. One of them was Case in Point, and the other is Case Interview Secrets. Having read those two books, I hit up people that were also recruiting for consulting firms, and together we practiced how to do these case interviews. In fact, they are quite different from your typical tech and programming interviews. But in concept, they're quite similar. They show problem solving skills, they show how you structure an issue, and they show how you communicate uh, your solution to that problem. After all this preparation, I actually finally applied to various consulting firms, and in the end, I joined Deloitte in their technology strategy and architecture practice. So the next topic is what I discovered after switching. So recapping the reasons, I was looking to solve problems at a high level, I was looking to gain some soft skills, and I was looking for lots of people interaction. And by and large, those three areas are definitely true. I was definitely able to solve problems at a high level. I organize IT organizations, I develop digital strategies, I program manage post-mergers integrations. I think I also gain some soft skills. I chair meetings, I facilitate conversations, and I really use EQ to my advantage in getting information out of people, which sounds kind of bad now that I say it out loud. 
but it's all part of the job, trust me. I also discovered that I was able to leverage my technology background, but not to the extent that I expected. I was able to put some credentials in when I'm talking about digital strategy or architecture based on my computer engineering background. But by and large, we operate at such a high level that how to code the best C++ doesn't really apply in these situations. It is also a very different life than engineering. To a large extent, what I mentioned were true. The work-life balance is a little bit different. It's a little less cushy. There's a lot of travel. You travel out on Mondays, you get back home on Thursdays, before the socioeconomic changes recently, that is. The exit opportunities are still to be determined. I'm still in consulting after all, but I'll let you know when that happens. But so far, I think I made a good decision. It was a great decision to switch into consulting, to gain those soft skills, work at a high level, and really have more of those people interactions. Now, to talk a little bit about the drawbacks, the two that come to mind is salary, and the work-life balance. I would say on the salary front, you're looking at around 80K versus 120K, consulting versus software engineering right out of graduation. Now, we're talking about big four or other big consulting firms, that is, for that 80K. And for 120K, we're talking about the large Silicon Valley firms. Combine that with the bonuses you get when you sign up for software engineering jobs, it could actually amount to quite a big difference. But in my mind, I think anything above 75k is sufficient. I can save up for the future, for retirement, for a house, what have you. It might just take a little bit longer. And the second drawback I mentioned was the work-life balance in consulting. How I reasoned this to myself was that in my 20s, I'd like to push myself a little bit harder to have those exit opportunities in the future, to really set myself up for my 30s, 40s, and beyond. So for now, I don't mind it. So that's it, everybody. That is my journey from software engineering to consulting and the reasons why I did it. Are you thinking of moving from software engineering to consulting? Are you in a business background, but you want to move into technology? Sound off in the comment section below and talk a little bit about your journey. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like my videos and stay tuned for the next one. See you later.